Hey, street talk and other stuff. Mike, Mad Dog Magnati, nice to have you with you this Monday morning. Good to be here. Hey, last day of July. Summer's still with us, though. Still got a lot left. But, you know, uh, I just got a story to tell you. I ran into a friend of mine the other day. It was kind of upsetting. Uh, he didn't look too good, and I talked to him, and I said, well, what's going on with you? He said, well, he said, recently my, my dad died. My dad died just, a, you know, a few months ago, and, you know, he left me $10,000. And I said, oh, well, it's terrible about your father. I'm sorry for you. He says, yeah, but... He said, then, you know, just a couple weeks ago, my mom died too. She left me $50,000. And I go, oh, my, both your parents? I said, that's, boy, I said, my, you know, you got my fullest sympathy. And he says, oh, well, not, that's not the end of it. He said, just the other day, my uncle died. And he left me another $15,000. I said, you had three family members die in the last couple of months? I said, this has got to be really rough. He says, yeah, it is. And this month, nothing. Uh, you can think about that one for a minute, okay? But, you know, all right, I'll just talk about my family. You know, my wife and I were driving up. <laughs> Thank you. My guest at least is chuckling, okay? I think he's just encouraging me. But my wife and I were driving up to Winthrop the other day. Um, you know, Winthrop, you know, you go through the Methow Valley, farmland, that kind of stuff. And we just had this big argument. I can't remember what we were arguing about. And, you know, you get, you argue, and you, you don't resolve anything. or just sit there silent for a while and not even saying anything. But we passed this barnyard. And there's these pigs and jackasses in the yard. And I kind of look over and say, hey, relatives of yours? And she goes, yeah, in-laws. <laughs> uh, but no, you know, you know my wife, you know, I, I love her. She loves me. But we're talking, you know, one of these days, you know, I mean, your life is going to end. You know, we've all got a termination point. We were talking about living wills and this DNR thing, do not resuscitate, about what our plans were for that. And I said, honey, just be sure. I said, if it gets to the point where, uh, you know, I'm in a vegetative state and I'm a dependent on some machine, you know, to keep me going and just fluids from bottles, I said, look, just pull the plug. If I get like that, just, just pull the plug. So she got up, unplugged the TV and poured out all my beer. <laughs> okay. All right. Street talking other stuff. Mike Mad Dog Man, I got a great guest for you today. He's someone who's been here before. I love having him. But yeah, you stick around. This is going to be a good show. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey folks, Carrie from Blueberry Hills in Manson. Looking for fantastic food in a gorgeous setting? Come on out to Blueberry Hills. We're open every day from 8 to 3, serving breakfast and lunch all day. Specializing in down-home scratch country cooking and serving huge portions at a price a family can afford. Award-winning pies baked daily. Come relax on the deck with friends and family, even the four-legged ones. Our frozen blueberries now only $1.25 a pound, so definitely worth the country drive. Hope to see you soon at Blueberry Hills. Are you raising a grandchild or another relative's child? If so, kinship programs may be available for your family. Kinship care is the full-time care of children by relatives. Kinship care maintains family, cultural, and community ties. It's the oldest form of family preservation and an important safety net for children whose parents are either unable or unwilling to care for them. To learn more about kinship care or to find a support group near you, please contact Aging and Adult Care of Central Washington. Vominos Junk Haulers are pleased to announce they've added moving services to their list of ways to make your life easier. Vominos Moving Service. No move is too big or small. In fact, Vominos does it all. Vominos employees are experienced at moving your home, office, business, and storage. They'll carefully load and unload your belongings. And for the do-it-yourselfers, Vominos also rents trucks and cargo trailers. Call Vominos Junk Haulers and Moving Service today to schedule your free estimate. I wish we had something cool for the kids to do this summer. I feel like we've just done it all. Have you heard about the 100 days of summer at the Rack? The kids can take a dive with swim team, challenge themselves with karate and junior workouts. It's games galore playing tennis and pickleball. No need to choose. They can try it all with the Rack Summer Multi-Sport Camps. There's fun for you too. Get fit with group fitness or work on that tan by the pool. The Rack has something for the whole family. Find all the details at WRAC.org and do your 100 Days of Summer at The Rack, where we play every day. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike, Mad Dog Magnati, here with Street Talk and other stuff. And I have promised you a good guest, and I will not fail to deliver when I ever let you down. So, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to welcome the one, the only, Jamie! Bring it on down, Jamie. Come on down. 
boom, boom. The moves on this guy. <laughs> I want to have something to match my shirt. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I want to talk about this. It's good. You're going to talk about what? Little, little one? Good to see you, oh, yeah. buddy. Oh, wait a minute. You should know better. You're, you're the guest. Your head should be downstage. In the hub. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there I am. The downstage Nice to have hub. you. I probably, How's it going? It's good. You've probably been here more than anybody else. I'd love to have you. It's cool. In fact, they've asked me to take over the show. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I have better jokes. No, see, the, you, well, that's not know. saying much. <laughs> <laughs> but you know how I know that's not true? Those were lame jokes. They were, all they three are. of them. Yeah. That's, my, that's, that's your stick. That's my stick, yeah. yeah. When my dad just died recently, so really? I'm back there really? crying. Yeah. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. For reals. Actually, yeah. I told the joke. Didn't leave me anything. I told, <laughs> I told the joke about a guy dying once on the radio, and it was yeah. pretty funny, you know? Some lady called up and said, he must never have had anyone he loved that <laughs> long. <laughs> she lady, calm yeah. down. So. Yeah. It's, it would be rare if you got out of life without losing without someone. losing somebody. Yeah, yeah but it's just rare. the fact that it was a joke, you know. But hey, nice to have you. Yeah, nice you to be, be here. here again. Good, cool. Yeah. Okay, we want to start off by saying the reason Jamie's here is because he's directing the Let's, Full Monty. Right, and tell them how they can get tickets. Okay, <laughs> this is the hot. <laughs> Let's start from the, I want to get this information. I don't know out. anything about that. I'm okay, just a director. I can tell you. Okay. <laughs> You go to Wenatchee yeah. Pack, go to Get Tickets. Oh, I did know that. Right. Or yeah. you can go to the Performing Arts Center box office, I which that I too. believe opens at 10 o'clock yeah. during weekdays. That is true. Uh, but tickets are going uh, no, fast. No, noon. Opens oh, at noon. noon. Oh, okay. I did know that. Oh, cool. Good. Let's be fair. Well, appreciate that. Yeah. But tickets are going fast. 509 663 Arts, A R T S. See, he knows a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Get your tickets now. He knows tickets a lot are more. selling like hotcakes. They really uh, are. Yeah, people are apparently. Very interested about this show. Sure. Well, what do they want to know? I don't know. Are they going to do it? Are Buy they really going to do it? So, <laughs> but I want to tell you, I was saving this when I heard you were directing this show because I love the movie. Okay. Yeah. And I said, hey, this is cool, you know. So I go home to my wife Rosie. I say, hey, Rosie, Jamie's going to direct the full. Mon no, she said. I said, well, what do you mean? I said he's going to direct the full. Mon no, she said. <laughs> And my wife, she's Your really wife's sweet. scary. Oh, she is. She Jeez. Is. She's really sweet. I said, what, what do you mean? She said, you are not trying out for that oh, show. Oh, <laughs> I see. I see. I, I, didn't, I didn't see that coming. That's, oh, no. I yeah. didn't either. Well, you've never been in one of my shows. So. No, I never. Well, yeah. the last two, um, if I had bronchitis, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't have sang oh. or talked. Yeah. I would like to audition someday. That didn't stop anybody would. else. Oh, Okay, that could be, but I really <laughs> wanted, I really part, wanted to try I, out. I had to say it. I had, you set me up like that. I can't not. Sorry. Sorry. Just so you know. That's okay. Yeah. But I really wanted to try out for this, but she was adamant. <laughs> you know, so I said, why? And she says, well, you just intimidate everybody. <laughs> oh. No, With she's, your booming voice or? Uh, oh, okay. We'll just leave it right there. <laughs> I'm going to drink my coffee now. No, but that's cool. That's great. Um. Okay, so you cast this show actually back in January. Yeah, we did. And, and rehearsal started? On a cold winter night, mm -hmm. uh, which is always good. If you're doing this show, do it on a cold winter night, and uh, you really get a sense of reality, how things are going to be. Right. When nerves set in and all that, you know. So you, you can tell sense. who's Italian and who's not. You, right? Well, yeah, you know. So. You can tell people's religion. <laughs> There's a lot of things that can happen uh, cool. with that. Right. You know, I, I think kind of the funny thing was, um, we, we pick this show and you have no idea who's gonna show up or what they're gonna do. And so we had a whole bunch of guys audition for this show, which was kind of funny. And every one of them I said, well, you're familiar with the subject matter, um, which your viewers may or may not be. Well, yeah, I'm gonna ask cool. you to just give a brief plot well, run. Do we wanna so. do that right now? Or are we sure, gonna wait yeah, until after we have more coffee? Um, do it now. Okay, cool. You know. So The Full Monty was a, um, a British film that was extremely popular. It had uh, a group of out-of-work steel mill workers. Mm -hmm. Say that three times fast. Steel mill workers. Yeah. Steel mill workers. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough one, isn't it? I got it out Anyway, uh, it takes place in Sheffield, Sheffield um, England. <laughs> Apparently, that's hard to say as well. Sure. But um, they are out of work, and they are desperate. They all have a lot of things going on in their lives. They have bills piling up for lots of different reasons. They're, they're broke. And uh, 
they notice that their wives and their girlfriends and everything are going to this big Chippendales style uh, show where the guys are stripping and taking their clothes off. And the women are paying like 50 bucks a piece mm -hmm. to go see this. So light bulb moment, the one guy goes, well, why would they want to pay to see these guys who are like so fake and phony when right. they could have like the real yeah, thing, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> over yeah. the course of a, a couple of weeks, this guy organizes a bunch of uh, ne'er do wells and puts them together, and they they try to put on a, a, a strip show, and it's very funny. And then towards the end, the women challenge them and say, "Well, why would we want to come see you? We already saw these big beefcakey kind of guys with muscles, and they're all ripped and everything." And the the lead guy says, "Well, because we're going to go the full Monty," <laughs> and. And they're like, oh, really? And then the other guys are like, what? Ergo, <laughs> ergo my wife's, no, we, no. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, they, um, yeah, they accept the challenge. Okay. And so the women are like, great, we'll pay 50 bucks to come see that. So the guys are hoping to make like a, a big killing yeah. in one night and be able to then move forward in their lives. The cool thing about it is, uh, you know, it's kind of a, about this guy group of guys stripping, but the fun part is that it's really about their personal stories and why they're doing this and why they're doing that. And, you know, everybody thinks it's about the one big um, organ yeah. that we're talking about here, but, and it is, but it's not the one you think. Oh, okay. It's really about their hearts. Uh, oh. It's it's okay. all about their hearts. Are you going to cry? Sweet. Jeez. There's no crying in musical theater. <laughs> Come on. So anyway, I'm so, playing with this oh, basketball. That's, that's and so, so sweet. this, I just wanted to, this was just laying over there. And I was like, oh, I'm bringing that on because that'll give me something to do with my hands because I talk with my hands, even though I'm Irish mostly. Okay. I Inside, I'm Italian. Um, <laughs> the basketball is uh, how they learn how to dance oh, really? in the show, okay. which is really funny. Yeah, yeah. It's a great scene. Um, and I'm not going to explain it any, any further than that, but when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I oh, can cool. play with that and use it as a <laughs> something to drop. <laughs> he can never oh, come back here again. He can me. never come back here again. Okay, right. well, actually, one of the... It's um, all right. I think they're actors, early to be here. Yeah, I think of Jacob okay. Scott posted on Facebook yeah. how difficult it is to learn how to strip. I mean, the technical side. Was it, it Jacob Scott? I think it was. No. Th or how about Cynthia? No. Might have been Cynthia. No, it wasn't Cynthia. Okay. Well, why would Cynthia be stripping? I don't know. Cynthia's but stripping. Jacob just posed nude for one of the art classes at Radar Station. Right, so I it know can't that. be that difficult. But Cynthia was, uh, I was trying to like teach her how to do like some bump and grind kind of stuff. And she was like, this is foreign territory to me. And I was like, don't try to kid a kidder. <laughs> I've seen your act. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway. no, it's different. You know, if you're going to, you know, you're going to go pose nude for an art class, you just take your clothes off. Well, yeah, but there's but a certain just... element of stripping there, I think. Stripping away some I fears. Know. Well, that's true too. Now some, you're being some inhibitions. You're being existential here. Oh. Okay, that's a oh, big yeah. word for a twelve-year-old. I, I know it is. Yeah. And what I'm saying is, is that you just left my pay grade. Buddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can bring it. Let's bring it back okay. down. So, okay, but look, yeah. this is an edgy show. Ish. And you're doing it in a pretty conservative. So define community. edgy for me. Well, that's, you know, it's not your normal thing. I mean, if people want to watch nudity, they'll go watch Game of Thrones or The Sopranos on TV. Oh. There's you nudity know. in this show? There are, yes. yes. Oh, okay. I can attest to that. Okay. I can, and gratuitous sex and violence. Gratuitous. So, it's another big word. So, can I say that A-S-S -S word? I think probably not. You, no, no, anyway. Probably not. Uh, yeah. Um, anyway, the guys are uh, completely comfortable. And we had some really, there were guys at audition that I never expected. Oh. And um, when I asked them, I was like, are you okay with this? And there's some language. Uh, these guys are steel workers. So right, right. it's not, they're not saying, oh, how's your day? And they're in Buffalo. So when they wrote the musical, they moved it from England to Buffalo, New York. So these guys are real. They, right, and they, right. they speak real, you know, they're not, it's not like cleaned up. So, um, I mean, it's not horrendous, but there's language sure. and uh, situations. And I mean, there are some 
hilarious moments in this show. And then there are also moments that would just rip your heart out. Mm -hmm. They're just so poignant and beautiful. And because um, these guys are, they're exploring, like what I said, their they're, um, they're inhibitions, sure. their uh, insecurities, and they're exploring that. And um, I, to me, that's the most interesting part. The build up to the end of the show is sort of what everybody's buying the ticket for, but it's, it's really, these stories are Really, they're very nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I Good. get a little bit weepy. There's a couple, um, a couple of scenes. There's one guy that's <clears throat> trying to make his uh, child support payment so that he can continue to see right. his son. Right. And he he just doesn't have it. He's got to make a killing. He's yeah. got to make some money really fast. And so, uh, so there's like these poignant moments with his son and um, other things. There's another guy that's. A uh, very big, overweight guy, and he's dealing with body issues. Sure. And you know, we think that uh, probably in in society, we sort of relegate that to a woman's issue when it's actually not at all. Right. But it, the magazines all suggest that you don't yeah. see, uh, you know, men's magazines that really talk about body image or anything. And so, you got this guy that's dealing with that and um, and coming to grips with who he is and how he is and. Uh, his friends, these these guys were not friends to begin with, just two of them, sure. and they build the team. And then uh, they become a family. Cool. They become a, a, a group of really good friends. <clears throat> okay, well look, gotta take a break, but we're talking with Jamie Donegan. Jamie is the annual director, don't look around for yourself. I didn't know. <laughs> he is the I'm one who comes back every, do to the, every year to do the hot summer nights, um, Hot August nights. If I got it right, what, what's the name of the thing again? It's, hey, the show is in August. It's going to be at the pack, and that's where you can get your tickets. <laughs> but it's Hot August nights. The full Monty. Tickets are available now, but they are going fast. So we're going to talk more with Jamie in a minute uh, when he comes back. But you can go to the pack website, pack one at you. You can search it on Google. You can go to the box office um, here in town. But get your tickets. But we're going to talk with Jamie some more when we come back. But hey, stick around. Street Talk and other stuff. We'll be right back. <laughs> If you're stuck trying to find the perfect beer for you, look no further than Badger Mountain Brewing. We specialize in creating tantalizing craft beers that will soothe any picky taste buds and will satisfy your cravings. Check out everything from our amazing honey blonde that will appease even the most finicky taster or a delicious frothy stout for dark beer lovers. Experience them all at Badger Mountain Brewing. Hello, Wenatchee Valley. Christian Shanlin here with Bay Equity Home Loans. Let us make your dream of home ownership a reality. We're here to guide you through the loan process every step of the way. Check out our convenient online application. Bay Equity Home Loans in Wenatchee, your home for loans. Stop on by or give us a call today. Just as went went on the air, Steve, NCW Life is live now on Facebook. Hey, how is about that? We're live, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm Dan Koontz, your host for the next hour. Every weekday, starting at 7 o'clock. Get ready for a bunch of news that's coming your way. Here's what's happening around North Central Washington. We'll have a rundown of all your local, regional, and statewide news. You can also find more on our website at ncwlife.com. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. That's Wake Up Wenatchee Valley on NCW Life News. Tacos Chava has something new. Customers at Tacos Chava say it's the best Mexican food around. Nachos, enchiladas, tortas, ensaladas, and introducing camarones in many styles. You'll love the fresh salsa bar with so much selection. Are you ready for Tacos Chava? Find them at two great locations, the Wenatchee Valley Mall and ENIAC. Tacos Chava, tan delicioso. Okay, we're back. We're talking with Jamie Down again. He's the director of the Hot August Night Show, Full Monty, which is going to open this Thursday. Thursday. Correct. Yeah, whether we like it or not, yeah. <laughs> it's coming at us. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, I've been ready, actually, for quite a while. We had our tech rehearsal yesterday, and it went fairly well. Yeah. Um, I, you know, this is, a, this is a show where you do not want the tech to go wrong. Uh, there are certain scenes <clears throat> that 
has to be right on. Right, and so right. we got those dialed in, I think, fairly well yesterday. Um, I think more importantly, you know, I, I direct shows all over the place, and I know that the magic happens. And it's kind of interesting watching the um, actors because some of them know that, but yeah. not everybody does. Sure. And we have a couple of new guys. We have a, a new guy that just moved up here from Texas a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and he he's done one play, and this is his first musical. And oh, really? You know, cool. just just watch him. He's pretty pretty calm and at ease, but just watching people and seeing uh, their where they are and knowing that the magic will happen, like yeah. we, we get an audience and something just clicks, and and then it's all good. Well, you have got, so, I mean, the shows I've been to, which all of them but the first one, you just get tremendous energy out yeah. of these people. I mean, and just, yeah. I mean, they're, they're alive. Well, for me, uh, energy is the key sure. between uh, amateurs and professionals. Mm -hmm. uh, professionals have a sense and a, a, are able to provide a source for energy that is above and beyond, and that's what makes us want to go see professional theater. And a lot of times, and I mean, I've been to community theaters where the energy has just like been off, sure, the, off right. the charts, but I've also <clears throat> been to places where it's just sort of uh, like this. Yeah. So building the energy before the show is key for me. Um, vocal energy and physical energy. And so part of our warm up every night is we do a, a vocal thing which starts off sort of soft and then builds to a frenzy and then I take them on stage and they work the stage. I put on some just blare the music like right, you were talking right. to ZZ Top. I'm just like True. blowing it out and they're <clears throat> moving around the stage just walking or going through their dance Getting steps used or, to being on stage. Yeah, just, get, getting, just getting comfortable out, comfortable there. out exactly, there. Exactly, yeah. When I do a show, I want to know, like if I'm, if I enter right here, I, I'm going to know how many steps it takes me to get over right. here. Yeah. And I don't even have to think about it anymore. I know the right. stage. I learn it. I know where all the entrances and exits are. I know that if I'm going to do this song and I'm going to hit this spot every time, that person right there is going to be in trouble. Right. Because right. I'm going to work them. Yeah. And I'm going to do that, you know, that kind of playfulness. Um, but I I'm aware of that. Not everybody is. So I make sure that they get they're able to get out on the stage. Yeah and really explore it and, and play before we do the show. We do that every night. All right, so what challenges have you had with this show? I mean, what, I mean, come on, it's gotta be, <laughs> you know. Well, you know. I mean, just nature of the show, you're gonna have some challenges. Seriously, the so challenges I expected have not been a problem. Really, okay. Um, there is, you know, these guys are taking their clothes off. Mm -hmm. And so I thought that would be a, you know, a progression that we would have to work through. No problem. Everybody just like, Psh, here we go. And so that was kind of refreshing in sure. a way. Uh, other challenges have been um, just, uh, you know, we do this super fast. We do this all in about three and a half weeks. Yeah. And so that's a lot of uh, stuff to get done. And so that's been a bit of a challenge. And adding set pieces a little bit sure. at a time and, and not having them all to work with and play with. And so the actors are going like, oh, when do we get this piece? And so uh, there's a car in one of the scenes. And so the car finally was it was there and the guys were like, oh, thank you. Yeah. You know, we get to play on this car and do the different things with it. And I saw the rest of the cast sort of light up when they saw this, this moment. And um, so uh, just a fast schedule and really just Boom, boom, boom. Challenges, you know, people, w we're using mostly local people here. Right, we brought right. one guy in, yeah. uh, but they all have jobs, they all have families, they have commitments. Working around schedules and trying to get a show done in three and a half weeks yeah. is a huge Yeah, I can imagine. How long challenge. are your rehearsals, by the way? Um, gonna... We <coughs> rehearse 6 to 9.30 every okay. night, all right, that's... Monday through Friday, yeah. and then Saturdays we rehearse 10 to 6. Okay. Uh, with a lunch break in there. Um, so, and then we have Sundays off. The first couple of years we didn't take Sundays off and we really, we, we realized we yeah, needed you get people out, to yeah. have a little downtime yeah. and yeah. Uh, recharge their batteries. And so uh, we made that adjustment, which was uh, a good thing, but just trying to work with everybody's schedules. Yeah. And you have everybody there except for one person. And so, but you know, they have lives. And so 
We pay our actors. I don't know if a lot of people know oh, that. Oh, no, I didn't know that. We do. No, we have, I didn't know that at all. We have right from the very beginning. Huh. And um, it's not an exorbitant amount of uh, money, but it's enough to, for some uh, of the lead roles, it's a nice chunk. And for uh, the ensemble roles, it's enough to pay for their gas. Oh, uh, cool. For oh, the that's time great. That we're no, I had no idea you did that. So. Yeah, so we're the only ones <clears throat> that do that in Wenatchee. Yeah. Um, and we set that up so... Uh, you always think that that's going to make people put it and more at the top of their priority. Um, that doesn't always happen. Well, no, I mean, I mean, a guy like me, I mean, I would have tried out. If you didn't know when we were paying. No, no. Oh, I mean, it wouldn't yeah. have made any difference. Yeah. No, like I said, I've had bronchitis the last couple of years. Yeah. And I heard the big no <laughs> yeah. from my wife. Well, we're, year, so. I was talking during the break that um, your your accent, you have a Jersey accent, yeah, I can kind of a that. tough, no nonsense, uh, don't mess with me kind of guy. And that's what I've been trying to get the guys, yeah. yeah. But inside, don't total mess teddy with bear, me. Total teddy you know? bear, and uh, <laughs> probably could take him like that in okay, a minute. Well, well, I don't care. You got this tough police persona and everything. I got that. but. Seriously, in a in an alley, I think I could take you. You probably I'm could. scrappy. I'm a lover, I'm not small, a fighter. But I'm scrappy. Yeah, yeah. And I have five older brothers. And I, and give, I have a younger brother. I give up easy. So yeah. I don't. You know why expend the effort? But look, I'm sorry. We gotta stop. We gotta take a break. Okay. You're afraid of me now, aren't I, you? Oh, I am. I am. You won't. When we come back, I won't <laughs> I be here. Like it. Jamie's yeah. gonna end up the show by himself. But hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna chase you off the stage. <laughs> Street talking about this stuff. We'll be right back. <laughs> I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching the NCW Life Channel. I'm Eric Grandstrom with NCW Life Sports. I'm NCW Life News Director Steve Hare. Watch us on Local Tell Channel 12. Watch us on Charter Channel 19 or stream us live on ncwlife.com. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Where we cover the local high schools, the Wenatchee Wild, and the pro teams out of Seattle. On Saturday, we have a 90% chance of rain. Catch it all right here on the NCW Life Channel. If you are looking for dependable car service and repair, visit the good guys at Quick Lube and Tune. They've been keeping cars and trucks in the Wenatchee Valley running smooth for 35 years. Quick Lube and Tune is your hometown shop for a 10-minute oil change, complete tune-ups, alignments, brakes, mufflers, air conditioning service, and more. Get more life out of your vehicle by bringing it to the local guys you can trust at Quick Lube and Tune on South Wenatchee Avenue. Okay, Street Talking on the Stop. We're with Jamie Donegan, the director of the Hot August Night Show this year, The Full Monty. Um, I have no idea what Jamie's doing right now. <laughs> this is a little hard to spin, so okay. I was just doing a slow motion kind of situation. That's yeah. good. I get really impressed. <laughs> okay. You have to start somewhere, and that's my, you know, with everything. The show opens this <laughs> Thursday night. I'm going to get past your irrelevancies and I'm going to get down to the business for you here. <laughs> Show opens Thursday. Yes, it right. does. Where can yeah. people get tickets? Um, at at uh, numericapack.org right. or 509 arts. Okay. And uh, you can stop by the box office 12 to 5, Monday through Friday. Which is on the lower level yeah. of the Performing Arts Center. Yeah. Do you know how we make the show happen for real? No. Our sponsors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Michael, you're right. right. Family yeah. Dentistry is our big sponsor and has been our sponsor for the last four shows. Right, And right. we're so lucky to have them. And then we have other great sponsors, Gigawatt, um, Beckstead Electric, um, um, and so many others. <laughs> Coho Radio, uh, media sponsors. Um, and they'll all be North in the, 40 they'll all be Productions. In the pro, they'll all be in the program, right? Yeah. For people My buddy see. at North 40. My buddies. Okay. They're my family. Well, I will be there because my son-in-law is playing the orchestra, so we'll be there on your dress rehearsal, and we're being paying for tickets on Sweet. Saturday. But hey, Jamie, thank you, bro. Is that it? I pray that's Are it. Are we that's finished? It. Say goodbye. Hey, street talk and other stuff. The Full Monty. Like Mad Dog Magnetic. Come see the Full Monty. Good to see you. Have a great week. Bye-bye. <laughs> mm -hmm.